Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tarot reading August 26 to uh, September 1st, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. Right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the next card which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the Ten of Wands. Afterwards is going to be the positive aspect of the week. That will be the Five of Cups. And then the last card that we do have for you, Leo, is going to be the uh, guidance that Tara is offering to you. That will be the Star card. Alright, so on the first glance, uh, in regards to the reading, it does look like that you're going to have a lot of things to do. I, I mean, a lot of responsibilities that you need to take care of to a point where you may feel that kind of these things are get, getting into you and uh, you may regret that you gave your word to certain people or that you take on an obligation to fulfill a certain endeavors. So before we go into more in depth into that, let's uh, run the cards one more time. So the first one is going to be the Seven of Wands, uh, which is the topic, followed by the um, Ten of Wands, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards is going to be the Five of Cups, which represents the positive aspect. And then the final one is going to be the Star card, which uh, stands for the guidance. All right. So Seven of Wands here, the biggest property that can be interpreted for this card in regards to this uh, lineup, all right, it is a, about the temptation to shine, okay? The temptation to show how capable and how strong you really are, how you are, as you can see here, above everybody else which is exactly what could force you to take those unnecessary obligations, all right? Or to give your word to, I would say, to people, you know, or towards situations that you definitely don't have to. For example, you do have a lot of important things to do. Your neighbor comes around, asks you for help or asks you about can you do something and you without even thinking of how much you already have at your hands, you know, you say, yeah, man, sure, no, no problem. I'm going to come and do your job. You know, it's as simple as that. So it's very important this week. Uh, of course, they, these, all these things as we, as we um, kind of have one major arcana, but it is only on the, um, on the guidance, uh, on the guidance position. You can avoid all those things. As a matter of fact, that major arcana urges you to avoid all those things and when we get when we get into this uh, final card we're gonna see how but the thing here is that you have to uh how can i place it um you know you need to be practical um in regards to how much time you have at your hands all right and also you need to have that resistance resilience if i may say it that way to um to temptations in general and to um, 
that yeah that drive to always be in uh to always take participation into certain matters the accompanied card here is going to be the four of swords the formation it is a active uh, active friends that we do have so uh with uh, the active friends of the uh, of the four of swords that that car is another testament that you definitely can say no because the four of swords represents rather peacefulness uh having a time to catch up your breath and also um uh, it's it's about deliberating upon what is what is right and what is wrong right and it's what can be done you know objectively and what cannot be done objectively so the in my book the way i see that that reading and, and these two cards especially is that you have to be um pretty much uh, pretty much acknowledging you know how far your capabilities can sprawl because at the end of the day, even if you are a sun, you cannot shine everywhere. You know, there is always a, a, a half of, uh, <clears throat> of, your, uh, of your environment that you cannot put your light into. So choose carefully uh, which kind of endeavors you are, to, uh, you are to incorporate your resources into. So the challenges here is going to be the Ten of Wands. And that is exactly the busyness, right? And uh, that card feeds up the urge one to present themselves capable. Because challenging wise, every single thing of those which are um, which are to approach you throughout the week are also going to offer a payback. Okay, for example, doing favor for your neighbor, your neighbor is gonna owe you one. All right, doing favor for your boss your boss is going to owe you one. Incorporating yourself in a certain project, you're going to earn money. But the thing is that should you take all of them, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that you're going to be capable to finish all of them. Uh, you're going to finish even uh, less than, than your capabilities allows you to do so. So you have to be very strategic of what kind of, uh, what kind of opportunities you take because this week is not going to deprive you of opportunities is over is going to overflow you with them and you have to be like i said careful which one you take under your wing the accompanied card here it is the knights of pentacles formation it is the active neutrals that we do have so <clears throat> because there are going to be an abundance of opportunities you also are going to lack consistency with these two cards wanting to take participation in every single one of them you may very quickly lose the track of all of them what stage you are at and what is the best course of action from here so it is best to to um focus yourself on one thing on one thing at a time you know instead of trying to shine everywhere just like i said beforehand the next one it is the positive aspect of the week and that will be the five of cups so with the five of cups here you're gonna quickly uh, realize that it is best to focus on what you have to work with rather than what of on what you could have had to work with. The Five of Cups it's um, it's a card uh, it's a card signifying that even though you are at this current stage, you know you you are fully aware that you are not taking advantage of, of everything that comes in your way. In the same time, guys, you are as well fully aware that you do have enough to work with and that you shouldn't abandon, especially that this one, you shouldn't abandon the parts that you have decided to, to work on beforehand. Because it may play out that way, you know, you're working on something important. Let's say you're working on your relationship and friends of yours are calling you to go on a vacations with them. So you are tempted to leave your partner and go partying with your friends while, you know, up until this moment you have worked to uh, quench your relationship. And uh, that will, uh, it's not going to improve your relationships with your friends and actually is going to have a negative impact upon your relationship. Uh, so I will go to the next card here very briefly. This one says only one thing as a guidance. Remember your goal and do not allow anything to distract you from this path that leads you toward your goal. 
The next one is going to be uh, the Ace of uh, the Ace of Swords formation. It is a passive neutrals that we do have. So you don't have to even think way too much about it. I mean, the right course of action here is going to be pretty obvious to you. Yes, you may wish to to be more abundant. I would say. But for the time being, all right, you have to be you, you you have to go for for what is certain, okay, instead of gambling with um with an opportunity, so rather like with options available that they will turn out positive but with a price, okay? They may not uh, because like I said, you know, you may have fun with your friends, but on an expense of your marriage or on an expense of your relationship, you know, um, and especially with a career, you know, you have an important project at work and you just file for a, uh, for a holiday break because you want to go for a week on a cruise or something like that with your friends to, to party, which that thing is going to make you have fun. You know, it's a benefit of the opportunity, but in the same time, it's going to harm your work. So you gotta you gotta remember you know what is your goal here and do not allow anything to uh, diverse you from it. And like we said, this is what the last card says. The accompanied one is going to be the four of pentacles here. The formation it is the active enemies that we do have. A uh, a bit uh, a bit peculiar combo. It is what we do have with uh, with these couple of cards. So instead of, um, how, how can I place it? Well, these two are pointing that you may not be very happy, okay, with how this uh, goal of yours is developing at a certain point. But in the same time, these two cards are saying that the things are gonna change, okay? It's just do not dwell way too much upon how, how more developed it could have been but work with what you have in other words do not presume you know and uh, do not concern yourself with what could be concern yourself only with what is and push forward with what you have and that way you are going to maximize your benefits at the end so that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tower reading, September 26 to August, uh, to, uh, excuse me, August 26 to September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.